a mountain, Tabata Sutta, Samyutta Nikaya 15.5 Dwelling near Savati, then a certain monk went to the Blessed One and, on arrival, having bowed down to him, said to one side. As he was sitting there, the monk said to the Blessed One, How long, Lord, is an eon? Long, monk, is an eon. It's not easy to count as so many years, or so many hundreds of years, or so many thousands of years, or so many hundreds of thousands of years. But is it possible to give an analogy, Lord? It is, monk, said the Blessed One. Suppose there were a great mountain of rock, a league long, a league wide, a league high, uncracked, uncavitated, a single mass. And a man would come along once every hundred years and rub it once with a kasi cloth. More quickly would that great mountain of rock waste away and be consumed by that effort, but not the eon. That's how long, monk, an eon is. And of eons of such length, not just one eon has been wandered through, not just one hundred eons have been wandered through, not just one thousand eons have been wandered through, not just one hundred thousand eons have been wandered through. Why is that? From an unconceivable beginning comes the wandering on. A beginning point is not discernible, though beings hindered by ignorance and fettered by craving are transmigrating and wandering on. Long have you thus experienced stress, experienced pain, experienced loss, swelling the cemeteries, enough to become disenchanted with all fabrications, enough to become dispassionate, enough to become released.